Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 73 of our Purple Hookers campaign in Europe and Solace 4. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finished our war against Croatia, but we've tried to vassalize them and we actually succeeded. And we also picked up Austria for ourselves. So, in this episode, what we need to do is try to grow them, also try to improve relations with them because they don't really like us because of this forceful vassalization. So, we're gonna actually send one extra diplomat to Austria as well just to improve relations, and my plan was to try to somehow attack Venice, but currently if I were to attack Venice right now, uh, they would be protected by um, the Commonwealth, I don't, I don't really want to deal with the Commonwealth, so we would probably need to try to find a way around that. Okay, we finished another one. Colonization, and something happened with Ottomans. Like they got a CB or something, okay, that doesn't really matter. Uh, so, uh... All of that is actually finished colonizing, so... Have I added everything to the trade company? It looks like it. So, this army is actually doesn't really need to exist anymore. I couldn't unfortunately like teleport it up here or something, so... I guess we're just gonna go and destroy you. Right? Yeah, sure, why not. Mm, our manpower level is looking fine. This guy is looking fine. Course in here already finished, so... Our colony is gonna go where? Oh yeah, I've been sending one up top here. I might as well start colonizing like all the way in his e Asian region. Why the hell not? Uh, sure, let's go and send the colonies like all the way up top in here in Taoisk. And yeah, wars. We need, we need to go into the war with uh, Venice, but... Uh, we got trade protection. Against this guy, okay, sure. Are we embargoing all, all of our rivals? Humility Vance, Embargo friends. I'm not embargoing Ottomans. Oh yeah, so they just... Have they just embargoed us? Oh, looks like it, and our truce with uh, Ottomans just expired. I hope they're not gonna... They're not gonna declare a war on us, like, this... Every second, it would be, like, pretty annoying. Um... National tax or settler increase? I guess I like settler increase a little bit more. Also, talking about settler increase, how's our states looking? I could grant this new world charter yet again, and... New missions I couldn't establish yet. Okay, sure. And our army is suffering attrition in Austria. That's not nice. Hungary. I think you would give me military access, right? But Venice wouldn't, probably. Hmm... Okay, well, give me, give me one diplomat. Razano gonna tra transfer trade power. Commonwealth declared war on Brandenburg. Oh, okay. Look at this. That actually might, might uh, change his mind uh, on this war with Venice. No, he's still gonna join. Even though he's in his own war, but it's only for certain reasons, and I'm improving relations with him. Okay, let's go and wait a little bit more. With this war, and actually it's a war against Brandenburg, who we already seen the, uh, as a powerful foe. So Commonwealth probably gonna suffer a lot of uh, attrition and pick up some war exhaustion, so maybe in time he's like gonna change his mind. Mil uh, Hungary, give me military access, I don't like that my armies in here actually suffer attrition. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's just... Uh, let them stand in your lands, I think it's gonna be fine enough. Also, we need to replace our advisor. Sure. Uh, we could invest into admin tech. But we're ahead of time, so we're not gonna be doing that yet. And we also need to switch off our forts temporarily, maybe. Uh, why switch them off? I think forts give some uh, army tradition, right? Uh, yeah. They do a little bit, and we have tons of money, so we might as well keep them. Also, apparently I'm not allowed to have the f second general already, because of my lack of power projection. That sucks. Especially considering that I'm only allowed to have two rivals. That's kind of bullshit. Uh, have I embargoed... No, I haven't embargoed this guy, but I've been thinking, so... I'm gonna send embargo to you. That should help a little bit. Mm, okay. Commonwealth, just change your mind. You don't need to help Venice. Four reasons. Oh, it's actually still mostly because of opinion. So my diplomat actually helped quite a lot. Okay, so let's go and try to improve 
ever so slightly. Actually, if I were to pick up an, an alliance with Commonwealth, would it be reasonable? It might be, but, but I already have too many Diplo slots, so it's probably... Uh, it's probably not gonna be wise. Attend Prestige, one base tax. Have full Prestige, so it's gonna get this base tax. So... Commonwealth, you're not joining. Perfect. A zero reasons. So I could declare reconquest of for Austria. And I'm gonna be perfectly fine with that. The only problem is grass is currently sieged by mines. What he's or what the war is for? Mines and conquest of Ulm. It's not even the war against uh, Venice directly. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go and declare a war on Venice. We're probably gonna get black flag in the Hungarian land. But it's fine. Only knights would join on his side. Which is perfect enough. And I guess we're gonna declare for, like, Crane. And we would try to give these four cores to Austria. And some lands to Croatia, if it's gonna be possible. We've already picked up a lot of aggressive expansion. Yeah, we definitely got Black Flag, but we should be able to un Black Flag in uh, these lands. In Croatian lands. Uh, so yeah, uh, we already picked up, like, tons of war exhaustion, or aggressive expansion, rather. For vassalizing these two people. But let's hope... Also, this thing needs to go away. Let's hope we're gonna be able to take uh, enough lands. So, we have our 20 heavies in here. There are blockades in some Venetian ports. I should blockade Gulf of, Gulf of Venice first. It's gonna cost a lot of... It's gonna cost a lot of war score. I might as well send all of my light ships in here. Let's go and actually split them, like, in half. Uh, excuse me, why couldn't I split my fleet? Now I can. Okay, let's go and split half the fleet. Send more to Gulf of Venice because it requires a lot of uh, power to be sieged. Or to be... Uh, to be blockaded. I guess I'm gonna send part of my army to siege down Venetian capital. Why not? And this guy's gonna siege down Crane because it's actually my war goal. Okay, so 90 ships in here, 90 in there. Probably don't even need as many. Let's go and send like 45 here. Just have a full blockade in Venice. Uh, to drive up his uh, war exhaustion. Let's see. Actually, it's not full blockade. 87%. Where do we have other holdings I'm not blockading? 100, 100, and 100. Oh, you have Crete. Yeah, okay. Guess I'm gonna ignore Crete. Uh, we have Crane now. It should be the war goal. Right? Yeah. So it should start get, uh, giving us ticking war score, hopefully. And we'll already see in his capital. Mm -hmm. The only unfortunate thing is that we're not... Or that uh, grass is already sieged down by mines, but I could just wait for mines to finish his war... Uh, or uh, for Venice to finish this war. Grass gonna get unsieged, and considering that uh, Venice is not... Uh, is not like the main participant in this war, he's probably not gonna lose any lands, and then we're just gonna go and uh, resiege grass for ourselves. Uh, also, you guys go siege for Yuli. All of my tiny vassals actually helping or going to siege down these places, which I'm completely fine with, because I would need to have something for uh, Croatia, hopefully. Oh! Is this guy resieging this province? I would really hope so. And does it have a fort? Oh, it does! Grass actually has a fort in here. And also they siege down lines, which is also one of the cores I need for Austria, for fuck's sake. Oh well. Mm, okay, guys, are you gonna be able to siege down this place alone? Uh, no. We need to sell, send, like, a stack to Bosnia, at least. We unfortunately, don't have any siege peeps on any of our leaders, but... And we're still gonna uh, uh, apply them in case of, like, battle. I like this one. It's only eight troops, but still. Better heaven leaders than none. And Venetian capital soon gonna fall. Okay, La uh, Lyons just got resieged. Catalonia, could you please just go and siege it down? Considering that you're already here. He's probably not gonna listen to my order, but... Yeah, he just ignored me. Thanks for that, Catalonia. Um... Oh, we got colonialism on someone. I think it was France. Okay, there goes the Venetian capital. Let's go and siege down lines as well. And then it would only be Graz. Or Graz, rather. And these provinces. If necessary. But I think if I were to take these four provinces, it's already gonna be like tons of aggressive expansion. Actually, considering that it's just a reconquest CB, 
not might uh, might not even be a as terrible. But yeah, look at this aggressive expansion. Even Commonwealth kind of uh, hates us. So if I were to take too much, mines already would join a faction against me. And maybe even some extra people. Okay, there goes lines. Let's go and sit near grass, just in case it's gonna get resieged by someone. This fort is about to fall, this one as well. These armies do not really matter, so... I guess this war is mostly won. Um, what I could do for Croatia, I could try to take some lands from Ottomans, but... Yeah, I don't really want to fight this. Also, Ottomans, who are you at war with? Are taking Transylvania, and apparently Muscovy is protecting them? What? I don't know how or, how or why. Maybe, maybe Muscovy is like the defender of the fate or something. Oh, Transylvania is Catholic, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you involved in this war. Also, this fleet just got engaged, so it better like reinforce if possible. I don't know if we lost any fleets. Actually, we don't even need our ships in here anymore. We're just gonna send you there. Um, uh, we probably did lose some light ships. I don't remember how many we had. But we picked up a galley. Mm, so. Actually, now that we already uh, siege down all of that, I think our light fleet might just get back to protecting trade. As well as going to uh, repair itself. And this galley, I guess we're gonna keep for now. So. Oh, Morocco, you actually arrived in here as well. That's surprising. Uh, and you have not enough people to siege down this fort. What's Modena doing? Why is there not helping you? I don't know. We just finished with Bosnia. Okay, let's just... Smash these small armies. We have too many admin points. Could we invest in the tech? We can. Let's go and invest into that. Development efficiency and admin efficiency. Actually, is it gonna increase liberty desire of my colonies? It says something about admin efficiency, plus 20. But I don't know how exactly it works. Let's go and see next month. Is it gonna change? Is it based on, like, my admin efficiency or something? Venice wants out. Not yet, I want grass. Mm. No, looks like Liberty Desire have not changed, so... I'm not entirely sure what this admin efficiency peep is about. Mm hmm... Venice, could you leave your other war, please? That would be really nice. I think if I were to drive his war exhaustion a little bit higher, he might leave his other war. Or he might just resiege grass as well. Yeah, let's just let this army sit in here. You guys go and kill these ones. This fort soon gonna fall. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, also, we have a native rising somewhere. Probably somewhere we couldn't really protect against, like in here. Yeah, 1k. But we have plenty of uh, settlers in there, so I guess I'm just gonna ignore this one. Uh, and Venice just received grass. Perfect. Are you gonna let me siege it back? Uh, who's the leader? I am the leader of the siege. Great, so... As soon as the grass is gonna fall, we're gonna try to have peace done. Morocco's opinion of me, plus 40. For the Catholic fate. Yeah, for the Catholic Morocco, indeed. Uh, okay, colony got damaged, not surprising. Also, Ottomans marching their army through this province for some reason. For the war with Transylvania. You already sieged down this thing. Oh, but they, yeah, they're allied with Brandenburg, and Brandenburg actually answered the call, apparently. So now Brandenburg is at war with Ottomans. I don't know who's gonna win, because Brandenburg is pretty damn tough, from what we know. Um, also, Venice is trying to siege down Austria, which is pretty rude. Also, I just lost like six freaking heavy ships in this battle. Probably because Venice had quite a few heavies in here as well. <laughs> Maybe I should not have uh, sent all of my light ships away from here, but I guess it's fine. Uh, we could always rebuild them. Uh, Vagina Guard just has become westernized. Oh! Might it... Wow, look at this. Um, might it give me a chance to rival them, because they're pretty big. Let's go and wait one extra month and see what's gonna happen. And there goes grass. So... So, Venice, how about... You're gonna return uh, four of this course to this guy? 
you're gonna accept it easily. Also, you could return some cores to Hungary, but unfortunately, I couldn't really vassalize him. So, could I return cores and also take some lands for this guy? So, if I were to return cores, oh, it's still gonna be tons of aggressive expansion. And three countries actually would join the coalition. So, it looks like Croatia not gonna be able to grow right now, or would it? Let's go and try it, just in case. Let's go and try to take, like, the weakest provinces development wise 775 yeah sure so let's go transfer this to Croatia and see how bad this peace deal gonna be so return four cores to this guy and seed provinces this free oh, it's not as bad Baden and Wurzburg are gonna join but they are minus 51 so they're gonna live like in the next year. So yeah, I definitely can actually do this. Venice sits free to Croatia. Venice gives cores to Austria. Both of these guys getting up to five provinces, which uh, is what I need right now. I'm gonna lose some Diplo points, which is completely fine. Oh, I actually have not enough Diplo points, but if I am gonna be fine with dealing this, uh, with being in a debt for points. Yeah, let's just let's just accept this piece. A coalition probably would form against me right now. But I don't think they're gonna be powerful enough to just fire it or anything. Or maybe they're even not gonna... Maybe they're not even gonna form it, who knows. Austria, I now absolutely love me for uh, returning your course. Yeah, return territory 160. What about Croatia? Uh, don't really think anything about me giving them this land. But it's still fine. Okay, so, how's the achievement progress? It should have added, like, straight away. Yeah, we only four nations away. Okay, that's great. And these guys actually have a border, so now I'm allowed to move all the way, like, along the coast and here. That's pretty nice. And yeah, the coalition actually have not formed as of yet. Probably because Venice is at war still. Or are they? No, they're not. Could they join the coalition while they have a truce with me? I'm not sure. But yeah, the coalition is not forming. Which is perfect. I don't really need to expand in here anymore right now, so yeah. I'm totally fine with that. Um, so, four extra nations. Now, this, now there's a tricky part. Where are we gonna get four extra nations? Without pissing everyone off. Jared, are you still allowed with Ottomans? Yes, you piece of garbage. Uh, would Ottomans protect you right now? They would. Yeah, they would eagerly, actually. Okay. Portugal. Now... I could just go and, like, and release Castile at some point, but... It's gonna be too much. Attract protection against these guys. Oh, yeah. Talking about fleets. Oh, we actually lost this galley I've been thinking about destroying, so that's fine. Let's just go and add extra heavy ships in here, up to 30, I guess. Let you repair. Our light fleet should be pretty fine. with protecting everything in here. Also, yeah, what kind of lands we took in here? Nothing really fancy. No, like, trade. No, like, important centers of trade or anything. Venice absolutely hates me, but that's reasonable. Mm, so... If I were to, like, attack Timbuktu... Oh! If I were to attack Timbuktu, would I be able to, like, release anyone here? As a nation? Probably not. Uh, let's go and look at this list again. Maybe we have something interesting. Siena with four provinces. Naples. Provence. Tunis. Makassar. Yeah, all of these other guys are uh, protectorates, which is not what we're looking for. Siena with four. Was Siena really that big? But no, I, I don't really want to release them in, like, in the middle of my own lands, especially considering how high the development is in here. It's gonna be too much to give to them. Uh, how's Austrian development looking with these provinces now? Oh, it's still less than 100, I would assume. Austria. Yeah, they have like no liberty desire whatsoever. 
And Croatia probably as well, because I gave them, like, the creepiest land possible. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. And for now, it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys. Uh, what might be reasonable for me to do is probably, like, attack Aragon for, like, Sicily or something. Or try to focus... Focus on East for now, because I have tons of aggressive expansion in Europe. And if I were to declare any extra wars, I would not... I would not like the outcome. So, yeah, for now it's time for me to have a break. So, I'm gonna do this and we're gonna see you in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.